Welcome back. Now, violent and contact crimes continue to be on the rise. Civil organizations say there's a need for more emergency support. Crisis on call says centers remain understaffed and overwhelmed by the volume of calls received. So to discuss this even further, we're now joined by the organizations through Anfermark this morning uh, to take us through not only the work they do, but also painting that picture of how dire uh, the situation is. Ruan, thank you so much for your time and uh, good morning to you. I think oftentimes we hear South Africans complaining about 10 triple one either not answering calls or not responding on times but paint us that picture in terms of the staff the number of staff and the number of calls per day with which just that line hotline receives per day good morning amelo it's a really big pleasure for us to to be with you today um yeah it's quite shocking stats actually because you're looking at uh perhaps per day between about 10,000 calls that has mm. been reached um, at a 1011 contact center per day. And in the past three years, more than 6.3 million of these calls was dropped um, due to uh, the call centers that has been understaffed and um, other issues such as power issues and all that stuff that um, that is a quite big, uh, big problem. And then obviously, um, the police stations that is also understaffed and uh, the vehicles that stopped in a working condition and all that stuff that um, gives South Africans uh, a very big fright. Yeah, so we're looking at a ratio here that's a bit imbalanced. I mean, if we're looking at 10,000 plus calls and approximately according to, to stats, what, 11, you know, uh, staff members or so taking those calls, then you can see why there's 6.3 million calls have been dropped uh, because there's just not enough manpower uh, with the rise of crime to handle those calls. But crisis on call, I mean, how are you intervening here in terms of bringing some sort of relief uh, to communities in the country? Yeah. Yeah, so crisis on call is a uh, emergency response solution, um, and we've got a call center um, that can assist um, uh, all the South Africans once you become a member of crisis on call. That gives you access to an emergency, a national emergency number. Um, there is also a lot of other um, value-added services embedded in the product of crisis on call, and um, ninety percent of our uh, calls will be answered within 30, 30 seconds um, since you logged the call. The emergency number on the top of the armband, there is also a um, there is also a unique code at the back of the armband that binds you to all your critical emergency information um, so that when you are involved in that um, serious situation or emergency situation, the crisis on call uh, system will then speak on your behalf as well. Yeah. We, we're having this conversation, Ruan, as well, because we, we, we're trying to also highlight the response time from when the call is placed uh, to when help arrives, to where there is distress, right? And I understand that that's also equally important to you, to ensure that you do this timelessly, because, I mean, if violent stats and crime stats are anything to go by in South Africa, you would know that gun violence also contributes uh, to deaths in the country. So it's important to have capacity to respond when that call is clocked. Definitely. Um, well, if you look at the police minister, Becky Tele, um, in his uh, public speaking the other day, he said that 7,555 murders were recorded in the past quarter in South Africa. Uh, that means we are looking at 696 more killings um, in South Africa um, than the previous uh, financial year. Um, and it's also about 84 murders uh, a day in South Africa. So it's, and this is not even... Um, we don't even look here at the crime stats, um, house breakings, robberies, and uh, uh, pickpocketing, and all that stuff that is mm. uh, these days uh, seen as a petty crime in South Africa. So yeah, it's it's quite it's a big concern. Ruan, uh, care to also tell me more about the unique identification wristband? Uh, from a crisis on call. I find this particularly significant and interesting because once the responders are there, it seems that wristband can assist them to also equally action uh, in terms of the medical attention that you need and where to take you from there. Definitely. Since crisis on call started back in 2002, we um, actually did a lot of research and saw the a need for uh, proper medical identification on the road. So. Um, hence the paramedic, when he stops at the scene, um, they don't have time to 
uh, basically look for a medical aid card and, and what if there is five people sitting in the car that is involved in the accident or um, the, the house breaking or whatever the situation may be. Um, the reason being is that process on call then um, the armband is, is all your medical information is on that and it is connected to your um, pers- to you as a person um, and all the information then will be given through the necessary information will be then given through to the paramedic on the scene and this will help the paramedic to know if you're on a medical aid or not um, who's the uh, next of kin and what is your allergies and um, also you as the client have a emergency number to phone in your time of need. Mm-hmm. And, and this, uh, you're making mention of you know, the medical uh, or ambulance or responders on the scene because you do have this network of first responders that you work alongside. You don't work in silos. You have a network of actually medical uh, first responders, right, that assist you. Definitely. We've got more than 3,000 uh, ambulance service providers nationwide that is contracted with process on call and we do... Um, assist, uh, use them, and so we can basically send out uh, the closest uh, appropriate medical um, uh, service to you in the in, in the time of need. Yeah. Before I let you go, one this also, also includes, just yeah. You can continue the point. Sorry, this also includes um, your security services mm. as well. All right. I wanted just to ask before I let you go, care to share us the number on crisis on call, uh, so that of course anyone watching this conversation now can make sure to make use of it. It's very easy. Um, so uh, to become a member of Crisis on Call, you can always uh, just visit the Crisis on Call website, mm-hmm. which is uh, crisisoncall.co.za, and all the information will be clearly visible on the website for you to give you information so that we can then contact you back and give you more information on the magnificent product. Oh, perfect. So I get to save my airtime while I also get to sign up with you. So that's even better. So thank you so much, Ruan. We'll definitely, definitely. of course, uh, making our way to the website, Crisis on Call. Uh, that's the website that you can get a hold of. Uh, this is an intervention, I suppose, because a lot of complaints have been coming uh, from 10 one uh, either hanging up on the call, 6.3 million uh, of those calls being dropped, and uh, and the staffing being an issue as well in terms of the capacity at these emergency call centers being able to handle the number of calls received. So go to Crisis on Call and uh, see how you can also use them as your alternative.